A five-year-old boy from Rhode Island is one step closer to running and riding a bike like other boys his age, thanks to Purdue engineering students. They created a new prosthetic as part of a senior project. RTV6 reporter Stacia Matthews was there as they pieced it together for the perfect fit. Stacia. Interesting day for us today, Erica. Lucas Reich was born without a femur bone in his left thigh, making his leg much shorter than the right one. But he doesn't let that slow him down. The new prosthetic, however, will allow him to get around a lot better. Lucas Reich is about to receive the gift of a lifetime. Can you tell me why you're here today? Uh, to get my new robot leg. A leg that will allow him to play like other five-year-olds. Can I help you ride a bike? Oh, yeah. Lucas doesn't have a femur bone in his left thigh. He wears a prosthetic, but it has limitations, and mom says surgery isn't an option. And that's why I want for him to have a prosthetic that he can climb and run and ride bike. Purdue engineering students hold that possibility in their hands, a prototype of metal, plastic, and gears. It's the result of a senior project assigned last August. It's revolutionary. It's you know, taking what we learned and applying it to help somebody. And Failure is not an option, but this means much more than a final grade. This whole day I've been smiling cheek to cheek. This is going to be a great day. If it works, it's going to be even better. I'm going to feel great about it. Midwest Brace and Limb opened its doors for students to do their work. Owner Doug Mullen is overseeing the project. We need something like this because the, some of the knee joints we have now they're just not set up like what we're, what we're seeing here. A robot leg to support his thigh, bend his knee, and flex his ankle. But when it came time to try it on, too tight, too snug, and then just right. Lucas is already thinking about new possibilities. And riding a bike? Yeah, yeah, all of that stuff. I love it. <laughs> now, Lucas will have to learn how to walk with this new leg, but it is not going with him when they go back to Rhode Island tomorrow. The students say they've got about three weeks to redesign their prototype to make it a lot more comfortable and lightweight. His family, of course, will be returning to Indiana for that final fit. Stacia Matthews, RTV6. Lucas will get it in no time. Stacia, nice story. Thank you.